So there you have it, everything out in the open about the new FK8 2018 Honda Civic Type R. What did you think? I think I was uh, quite impressed with the car and I'm really excited to drive it in the not too distant future. But something came about in the comments almost immediately after we did our big Geneva video with the car revealing the specs and things like that. And that was a lot of our American viewers saying, hold on a second, why are we getting different information to what you've told us? Why are we getting news of 306 brake horsepower, not 316 like you said? First of all, I thought it was a big mistake because the previous FK2 Type R that came to Europe, that was 306 brake horsepower. And I thought, ah, somebody's maybe modeled the figures somewhere. But as I saw American outlets like Jalopnik and Road and Track producing the same figure, I was like, hold on a second, somebody else must have questioned this. So I made a few phone calls and it came back from Honda that actually there is a difference between the US spec car and the European specification car. And indeed the US spec car will be less powerful than the one that Europe gets. Now there is a good reason for this. It's not just that they're limiting one market over the other. It's not even actually anything to do with emissions, which is usually the case. It's quite simply to do with the grade of petrol that each country has a supply of. So typically in the UK, high performance 98 RON, so higher octane fuel, is really widely available. And so it's not uncommon for European performance cars to say, right, this car takes 98 RON fuel. And the car is tuned and mapped accordingly. In the States, so I understand, or so I'm told, higher grade fuel isn't always readily available. And whenever you're producing a performance car for the mass market, that's something that Honda's had to consider. And as a result, the car has been mapped and tuned for 95 RON grade fuel, which is a lower octane rating, which means it will produce less power. Now, it's not to say that mechanically the cars in the States won't be capable of producing 316 brake horsepower, because they will. But the mapping of the engine limits that to 306. Prolonged use of low octane fuel in a high octane engine results in something called pre-detonation, which, as you can guess, is a bad thing. It's to do with the fuel igniting at the wrong time. This can severely damage your engine. Now, as I'm sure with the European type car, that power figure is going to rise over the several incarnations of FK8 Type R that we get. And I'm sure that will be the case in the States. Um, but I just want to let you know, just to clear up any sort of confusion, um, but that's the sole reason for it. And I'm sure in America, it will take all of 25 seconds after them hitting the road that people will find a means to bump the power electronically or remove whatever limiter or remap the cars and the cars will produce that figure. But from the dealership in the States, 306 brake horsepower, in Europe, 316 brake horsepower. Disappointing, annoyed, frustrated? What do you think of the Type R in general? Put it in the comments below. And in case you missed it, don't forget to check out our tech specs on the new Type R, as well as us live from Geneva with the car itself. Thanks very much for watching and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for all of the latest and greatest cars to hit the road. For breaking news and written reviews, visit www.insidelane.co.uk. Thank you.